Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at this interesting model of a dragon. Now, I saw this model at the hobby shop, and I uh, it was in a display case, and I was asking the gentleman that worked there, you know, where's this model? I'd like to get it. And he said that it was a model they carried about two years ago, and then he hasn't seen it since. So I was on the search to go find one, and I managed to find one on Amazon. Now, these kits are kind of hard to find. Uh, well, Amazon at least has them, but they're not cheap. I think I paid $110 for this, but it's a, a really big kit, and it has a ton of pieces to it. I don't know exactly how many. I'm guessing that's the name of the company. Shanks, I guess, is the name of it. But here it's just kind of a, a basic box. So let's go ahead and take a look at the parts, because there's quite a few. Okay, so here are all the parts. And when I said there's a lot, there's a lot. Uh, this is crazy. Now... I'm not going to take them out of the bags right now because I don't want to lose any of these, but there's so many. But as you can see, these are really nice looking parts. Now, uh, the gentleman at the um, hobby shop, he said that he thought this was a Bondi kit, but it's not. But I think it's very much like a Bondi. From what I can see, it looks like it's all snap together. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any glue, but there's a lot of really nice looking parts here. Here we've got these kind of turquoise colored bits. There's a lot in here. Um, I mean, there's probably about, what, three or four sprues in this one alone? And we got these really nice orange pieces. Look at this. Love it, the clear orange. That's what attracted me to the kit when I saw it in the uh, display case. And now there's another version of this. There's one that's kind of black, white, and gray. So you can get that version, too, if you want. But I really like this one. There's a lot of stuff going on here. These are really nice-looking parts. Wow, here's some more of these turquoise colored ones. It's a really cool looking dragon when it's done. Wow, look at this. There's some orange. Oh my gosh. Wow, there's a lot here. And then we also have another bag here. Looks like there's a little bit of red and some more of the turquoise color. Yeah, so there is, oh man, there's a lot going on here. It's crazy how many parts there are. I had no idea. I think I saw... Oh, gosh. I don't know. I have to go back to the description in Amazon. I, there may have been, like, close to... I don't know. There was a lot of parts. A lot of parts. Now, here's the instructions. And this is all there is to this. And originally, I thought I was missing, you know, a book. I thought, am I missing a book? Because this is all the thicker it is with all these pieces. So here you can kind of see how all these parts go together. And there's not many pages at all, and I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute, something's not right here. But then when I was looking at it, I'm noticing things where there's multiples of everything. So over here, uh, like right there, it says times 20. So a lot of the uh, dragon's body is kind of the same pieces over and over. So it's probably going to be a re repetitive build. But you can see there's like times 2. That times 20 is a big one. So a lot of these pieces are just, you know, over and over, I think is what's going to be what's going on here. I hope, because <laughs> otherwise I'm missing a big chunk of these uh, directions. But here you can kind of see all of this. So anyway, it should be a fun build. And if there's anything interesting along the way, I'll show you what all of that is. Okay, so, oh my gosh. Uh, that repetitive part, making 20 of those things, is definitely repetitive. These are what they look like when they're put together. Now, everything was going good until you get to the part where um, this is what the interior of it looks like. There's several pieces to make up just this. And then you're going to put the other half of that on, which looks like this. It goes this way. So then when you put this on, the next step is to put this piece on the, uh, I'm guessing it's the bottom or the top, this piece right here. This piece is really, really hard to snap on. I, oh gosh, I just cannot get that to snap on. I've had to use pliers to, to uh, push down on it because you got to push down on it and there's these little clips, um, as you can see here. See these little clips right there? And they, oh, it's just really hard. That one I broke actually, which makes it a little easier to put in. I hate to say it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, they're really hard to put in. Uh, so I've been using these pliers to kind of push them on, and then I use a piece of uh, napkin to wrap around it so I don't scratch the parts. But, oh, man, those are so hard to put in. So it's really slowed me down on this build. But uh, everything else was going good until then. But here's the head. 
The head is really cool looking. Look at this thing. That looks fantastic. There's a lot of pieces to make up this head. You wouldn't expect there to be that many, but there is. Here's the underside. You can see there's layers of different colored pieces in there. It's very cool. So I really like the way that turned out. But anyway, if you're building this, uh, just know that this part of the build really is the pits. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, I guess I'll get back to it. Okay, so I finally got all the parts put together now. Uh, really time consuming to make these things. Th these are all finished. There's about 11 pieces for each one of these, just to make up one of these. So there's 11 pieces and there's 20 of these that you have to make. You can see how many there are. That's his back legs. These are his front legs. Love the way those toes look. They're kind of fragile. You can see the little back claw right here. They do move, but they are fragile, like I said. I, I don't think I'm going to be moving those. This one keeps breaking, so I had to glue it. Um, there's his head. There's his tail. So now all i got to do is just put everything all together now. All right, here it is all finished now. And boy, this thing's big. This is a big, big model when it's done. I bet it's probably around maybe... Uh, I don't know, it's got to be at least two feet long. It's probably more like close to almost three, maybe. I don't know if it's quite that long. Uh, I haven't been able to measure it. I, this is the pose that I put it in. Now, he's fully adjustable. You can uh, twist and turn the little whole body and spinal area as much as you want. The legs are adjustable as well, his little toes. And you can also, you know, angle his head whichever way you want to do it. But uh, this looks really cool when it's done. This is what I saw in the hobby shop. It was in that display, as I mentioned earlier. And when I saw this, I thought, man, this is just a really cool looking model. But unfortunately, it's uh, just kind of hard to find. So, uh, but it's, I don't know. I, I will say that the build of this was not the greatest, as I mentioned in previous segments here of the video. But uh, let me show you some close-ups of it so we can get, at least get some details in there. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the head because... That part is pretty darn cool. There is quite a few layers of plastic in there to make this whole head section come together. I showed it earlier, but you can see all the detail that's going on down in there. It's really neat, the way this was designed. Now you can see his eye right there. And then there's the front of him. His, his uh, mouth does open and close. You can actually close it all the way like this. And then you can also open it. And he's got like a little tongue inside there which is really neat. I had a hard time keeping this little beard piece on the front here. That to stay on, I did have to glue that. It just kept falling off every time I touched it. There you can see the front of his nose. I love these horn looking things that are sticking out of the top of his nose. There's the front view of him. Those whisker things are really neat. They're made of like that clear orange plastic. There's some more details on this side. Really love the way this turned out. Then here's the main body section. These actually snap together pretty easily, but boy, they are terrible. As I mentioned, it's really tedious to make these things, and there's 11 pieces per segment, but so many parts just would not clip on. Those orange pieces down here, they, I had to use pliers to smush it on there. Same with this top. Uh, let's see, where's one right here? Let me see if I can get a better view. These top pieces, this, this clear orange, you have to get it in between these two panels right here, and there's like uh, little tabs. And they, they probably should have had you put those on before you put the two sides on because it's, it's hard to smash that in there. You have to kind of separate the two sides to, to push it in. And then what you do, once again, you got to use pliers to smash it. And if you do use pliers, just make sure you wrap the pieces in some kind of thick cloth or like a napkin or something. That way you don't mar up the, uh, the pieces themselves. So there's 20 of these neck pieces and then you got two of these body sections where you got these other cool orange pieces coming out. And that's where the legs attach. There is the legs. The legs look really cool. And his toes are adjustable as well. And I like that back claw as well. But I will say that the, uh, the legs don't attach all that great in there. There's just a small post and a hole. And the legs fall off kind of easy. I'm not really going to be moving this thing around very much or, or uh, like readjusting the, uh, the pose very much because it's really hard you know, to kind of move them around. I'm scared something's going to break. Here on this side you can kind of see what's going on. I love the mixture of this turquoise kind of color with the orange and then this clear orange. I think that looks really cool. And as you can see, the clear orange pieces make up the spine all the way over here. It's really neat. And then these pieces here, these are uh, adjustable. You can actually see they're movable. 
So I like that because as his back curves, you can kind of fill in the blank area with those. There's the other section there for the, um, the legs. The legs, I think, are all exactly the same. They're the same type of build. Here's a good close-up of the toes. But here you can see how the toes are movable. And you can bend it at the, this part here, but inevitably one of these things always comes off. So it's, it is fragile. It's not really probably meant to do a whole lot of, you know, moving around. I think it's meant to just pose it in one particular pose and leave it that way. Here's the tail. Love that tail. That is really neat. Those clear orange bits right there look so cool. Yeah, I mean, it's really neat. I mean, the whole thing just looks awesome. The way that they, they did this. But yeah, it's not the easiest model to put together. In fact, I probably had some of the most worst uh, <laughs> frustration doing it. It takes forever to build these segments. I, it, I probably spent a good day and a half putting those together. And you kind of got to get the feel of the way things work too. It's, it's one of those kits where things don't necessarily snap together the way you hope they would. And so you kind of learn, there's like a learning curve to some of the way this goes together. Not the best design parts, I would say. Uh, if it was a Bondi kit, I think this would have gone together much, much better. But uh, having said that, this is really cool. I mean, just look how cool this looks. It's such a neat looking thing. I love how big he is. There's some pictures I've seen where he's kind of coiled. They've got him coiled and he's got one of his paws or I mean, should say his claws <laughs> on like resting on his body. I thought that looked kind of cool, but I kind of want to display him like this because I want to get the full effect of just how big he is. I mean, he's huge and he's relatively narrow, so he's not going to take up a lot of shelf space, at least width wise, but he will take up a lot of shelf space uh, lengthwise because that is that's a sizable chunk of uh, plastic right there. So yeah, there's a lot of parts to this kit, and you do have a few pieces left over. There's a couple of these um, clear orange bits that were left over that I'm not sure why you had extras. It might have been a couple of these whisker things. And then there was a few other connector pieces. But for the most part, you use just about every uh, part on those sprues. And there, like you saw, there's a lot of parts to this kit, but really fantastic overall, though. So there we go, this awesome model of a dragon. If you want to get one of these for yourself, um, I found it on Amazon. Just look up Azure Model Dragon. Uh, Azure, A-Z-U-R-E, or Azure, maybe I'm not sure, but um, maybe they're referring to the color. That's how I found it. Uh, it's by that Shanks company, but they, they had it as KKXX. Uh, model or something, 3D model. It's not a 3D print though, it's just it's an actual, I don't know, it's, it's weird the way they listed it. It may be available in other places, it may be cheaper, uh, but that's the first place I found it, $110. It's a very expensive model, and it took a while to get here because it's not one of um, Amazon's like, you know, two-day shipping type of items. It took, a, took a, about a couple of weeks to get here maybe, but it's a really neat model if you're willing to deal with some of the frustrations on it and just take your time with it. Just know you're going to have some frustrations building these things and other parts. Um, yeah, I mean, I love the way it looks, but I don't recommend that it's that you do a lot of like posing with it or bending around with it. I mean, it's it does bend just fine, but like I said, pieces are going to fall off. The toes are fragile. Um, yeah, just a lot of things with it. But it was kind of a frustrating kit to put together in a lot of ways. But overall, I I really love it. I mean, it presents itself very nicely. But anyway, all right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I very much appreciate it. And until the next time, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.